understand that the system uh, does faults. Yes, it does. Uh, we have 71 faults built into the system, plus uh, another one called free play, which allows you to move the launcher in any direction, uh, load, unload, pause, conduct a fire mission, just like a real tactical launcher. And what happens is the student will get in, start the engine, start the GDU, and in the process of either moving the launcher or during startup, he'll get a fault generated. He'll then go to the item, trace down what the fault is, and then based on the IE, I'm here to use a multimeter or one of the lag boxes, launcher adapter group boxes that they would use on the tactical vehicle. We use these blue boxes that we've modified to test and isolate the fault. Once he's isolated the fault, whether it's one of the LRUs, If any of these components here, he may have to disconnect cables, plug up a multimeter. Once he's found the fault, through uh, the launcher adapter group, the multimeter. Um, Sergeant says you're doing a good job, that's it. You then come over, clear the fault, you're ready to start again. So the faults can be anything from an LRU failure, it can be a break in a cable, it can be a sensor failure on the hydraulic system, air pressure system, even on the GDU itself, it can have a fault that's generated by one of these 71 lessons.